Hey guys, today we'll be talking about the diagonal palm shift the DPS. Now I know that like there are lots of tutorials on YouTube about the diagonal palm shift, but then people some people still have problems with them. It's like a common utility move that most magicians use and they have problems with them. So I'm just going to offer my two cents on the handling of this. So first of all, let's get into the basic um, handling of this. So first of all, you have your selection, any selection. It could be any card, it doesn't need to be a selection actually. So we have this. You right foot downwards, insert the card in the middle like this. With your thumb and middle finger like at this point and fingers by the side here. You come over, apply pressure at this diagonal at this um corner here like this. You apply pressure so it makes it protrude by the side like this. It gets side chopped like this. So with your fingers close together. So, and the um, thumb of the right hand is at this edge right here. So you are like this, you are in this position. Then you move downwards. So this um, middle finger is pulling downwards also with the thumb because like of this. So it's pulling downwards like this. So in this position, now once you get here, once you can no longer move it like this, you start to turn it pivoted against this thumb with your ring and middle finger like this to palm it. So. In the middle, move, five with your ring and middle finger. Now you see you almost you've almost cleared the deck already. What you just need to do is just regroup and palm. So middle. You are at this position already. Then you regroup with your um ring and middle finger of the left hand like this. Regroup and also pinky and palm like this. So, once again, pressure at this corner, thumb and um, fingers by the side, move downwards, inwards, sorry, five with your pinky and ring finger, and it hits this point, or where you considerably palm your cards, it's this point like this, with thumb still at the side, and just palm it off like this. You can either palm it like this while landing off the state tail like this. Or you can just palm it and still keep it deck in your hand. I prefer palming and keeping it deck in my hand. Just like this. It has more cover for this. It doesn't really seem um off. So once again, so now let's go into like um some tips for this to make this work well. So what I do is I don't insert the cards directly in the middle. I go a little bit low, about like 15, 20 cards like this. So pressure at this corner side jog turn my thumb is still stationary it's not moving anywhere i just move it downwards and then i bump it like this it offers more cover from the from when i do it this way so so about 15 20 cards insert move five words palm now another thing is that, about, that i notice is um this thumb movement like this the thumb should only move when doing this, that should be the only visible movement of the thumb when you're doing the palm. So, you have it like this. Inside, once it's like this, when you're doing all the fiber, just leave the thumb stationary there like this. No movement from that toe. So, you have, um, it's, it's at this position already. Then just palm up like this. Thumb is still there. Then you palm up gently like this. I have the card in palm already. So, like this, about 15 20 cards and palm up already. Now, if you pull from the top like this, like 15 20 cards at the top, you can see that there is a chance for you flashing. So, to avoid that, that's why I put mine like 15 to 20 cards near the bottom of the deck. Uh, also, in the middle, also the chance of flashing, but it's less than when you put it near the top. So, from the middle down to about 15 20 cards, you are safe. So Palm. And also, when doing this, when doing this pivot, um, I don't make my, I don't, I don't pull back too much because if I pull back too much, there's this chance because I already have like about half of the deck, um, our job ready. So there's a chance of them seeing when they are viewing it from the front, like this because I already have half already like this. So there's greater chance of them seeing it than when it's like this already when I'm palming this way. So 
let's see front more space for them for the eyes to look down at compared to this yeah basically like my thumb is blocking the entire view from the front like this and then i can just come easily now when, when i'm palming also when i'm doing this i like to turn my eyes like this i like to make this um point point directly at them like this this corner point directly at them like this and i'm doing the palm so they see the card going in the middle there's no question about the card going in the middle and then i pull downwards do the palm so these offers cover like this a thumb at this point like this when i'm doing this this part is over and cover my thumb is over and cover like this this so basically you are 100% covered at this point i want to say something before i've forgotten already so first 15 20 cards thumb like this pivot and palm the card successfully like this so corner facing them palm the cards and also for people that would just want to just as they are inserting the card in the middle or take give it to the spectator to do that you have you insert the card in the middle of 15 20 cards once you get to this point you are already leaning in like this you are leaning already you are turning your um left hand inwards like this to palm already so instead of you waiting for the card to come for the pinky to pivot the card to you you are already moving inwards by yourself that's so as to achieve speed so you are leaning inwards already so once you so let's just go back at first so like this lean inwards it's contacting your um this point already like this then i come over with my um, ring and my middle finger and i palm off like this while I, while i'm handing over the deck to them i'm turning my hands over so it looks like as i'm handing over the deck to them i'm turning my this hand face down, palm down, sorry. So now you may not um, palm the card completely once you are doing this. That's why I don't like use it. I don't usually have enough time to palm the card completely very well as I'm doing this. Because I, I want to do immediately, I put the card in the middle deck like this. You want to hand them over the deck like this. Now obviously that is this kind of window when I'm doing this, but if you practice well enough, I don't practice that one very enough, very well. You should be able to achieve this like this first and see that was that fast. So as you're handing the deck over to them, we are turning this left hand face down like this. So pinky is already like this. Your um ring diamond finger already at this corner like this. I just palm my face down like this and you add them to take to wood and you can do whatever you want to do with this card if you get cut pocket anything you want to do with it so basically that's uh, my two cents on the diagonal palm sheet if you have any questions you can ask in the comments i'll be happy to answer your questions and also don't forget to like and subscribe i think that that's the end of this